Good morning, everyone. I'm on Pacific Coast Highway with a beautiful U- Ukrainian woman, and we started talking about sex. And uh, she has a great um, piece of advice from a uh, what was he? Um, what was his? It's okay. from a Russian psychiatrist. A Russian psychiatrist. Tell me what he told you. Sex pathologist. Hi, Sexapathologist. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are you doing today? I'm fantastic. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sound sarcastic more, but um, well, you'll I, get it eventually. I'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> um, basically, for women, sex and relationships, if you picture it, it would look like a circle of relationships, and sex would be inside. It's a circle inside of the circle relationship. Because for us, once we get into sex with a man, that for us it's mean that we are already in relationships. That for that we are on a deepest level now. For men, on the other side, the relationship is going to be representing by one circle, and then next to it will be another circle, which is going to be bigger than relationship circle, but it's going to be next to it. It's going to be sex, because this is their natural need. And so basically, what the biggest uh, women fault, why they lose men so fast, and men want to find another woman, because women do not get into his relationship uh, circle first before he's got into the sex uh, circle. So women go straight away to the sex w- uh, circle with men. For him, it's just sex. It doesn't have to do nothing with the relationship most of the time. So once he got in the sex um, circle, woman, he already got sex and he keep moving forward in his life and he's doing his things. He doesn't even think about her. For her, she's already inside of her circle of relationship and she's having sex with him. And in her head, she's expecting him to call her and have a relationship. But in his head, it's not like that. It doesn't function like this. In man's head, it's just sex, so what? But if she would catch his attention in the beginning, mentally and intellectually, and uh, got some emotional connection with him, she would got with him into the relationship circle to make him feel good and wanted to talk with her again and again and then they would move forward to the next circle the sex circle after they got emotional uh, connection there for men that would uh, be something like a start of relationship so that would maybe make men so that's why a lot of mothers would say date a boy for and don't yes, put out the first date. Exactly. Date a boy and get to know him first before you have the sex. Because for them, it's just they don't understand. They For them, sex is just okay. That's fun, sex, okay, woohoo. And then for them, it doesn't mean that they are a relationship and they're building a family. For us, for women, it's like this. Oh, my God, we have sex, so we're going to get married soon. Well, you want to be uh, fondled. You want to be caressed. You want to be sweet-talked. You want to be treated nice. And then you can move into having sex, correct? Yeah. Where men, you know, we don't have to do all that. We don't need foreplay. We just want to have sex. Yeah. And then that's it. And move forward. But if the woman would get him, uh, his attention and get emotional and intellectual and mental connection before and men would be interested in her personality, so then sex will be like additional beautiful thing to have. Yeah, but a, he a would, bonus bonus exactly but it's not going to be the major thing because for them it's just a circle of sex and nothing uh outside of the circle it's just for sex so what uh did he talk about after because you know sex is passion and it's great when it's new and fresh yeah like with your parents they were together five years the passion probably faded yeah they had problems with you know money or with kids so what did he say about uh, a continual relationship after you know let's say you get married did he talk about that no. So this was just... Uh, it just was a short, uh, like, uh, eight minutes video about why women, what calls the biggest women mistake, uh, why they lose men. Because we think once we got sex with him, that's everything is done. Right. Everything is great. We're in a relationship. For men, it's like, yeah, we just got sex. That's cool. Yeah. We can meet up Next again. Next one. Yeah. It's like, I think we're cavemen and we want to conquer women. We want to knock them over the head with a club, drag them back to our cave, and have sex with them. But it also gave me a realization that um, I'm watching a lot of, uh, I like historic uh, TV shows, how Uh you say in English, we call them serials in uh, Russian. Not a documentary so much, like, what's that called? You know Versailles? 
Versailles. Oh, yeah, Versailles, yeah. Versailles, Vers- Versailles, Versailles. thank yeah. you. Uh, Versailles in Russian. Or um, right now I watch Two Doors. Okay. It's about Ke- Henry VII, the king of Yeah, the history. England. You like watching histor- historic yeah. serials. I it do, shows too. how he I was. I like true stories. I like movies that are based on true stories. Yes, like Sparta and 300 and all of that. Yeah. And it shows me how men are... Also because I'm a... Um, physically uh, nicely done by God I have a lot of experience by seeing men ready to do anything just for one thing just they eat they are willing to eat ground uh, earth to have sex with you yeah. really and I find out yesterday I was kind of a very I got a very big insight I realized because it's all together all this like uh, talking of Psychiatrist, I like to educate myself every day a little bit. Then um, this movie really shows how even the kings willing to do everything for one little thing between women like. And well, this is such a guys, power. the kings have given up their kingdom for for sex for a woman. Yeah, for Anna Boleyn, he killed another king, queen. He like he uh, changed the the country religion. In order to get a new wife, <laughs> so he had to uh, um, cut off the Papa from uh, Roma and uh, all the Catholics, and uh, he declared himself his own. Как сказать, правитель? How to say in English? Uh, like a, a major of the of the church, so then he can uh, allow himself to marry a new wife. Oh. And it's all because she didn't give him any sex before they get married. And she uh-huh. became a queen. Isn't right. she smart? Yeah. And then once she got sex with him after they got married, and like in a week or so, he just, uh, he was loving her for years. And they, he couldn't marry her because he had another uh, Catherine. Okay. The Spanish uh, queen. So basically he finally got rid of her and he... So it really doesn't change over Anna, history. And he started finding lovers again. So it so, doesn't change over history. The, the, no. the, it's always the same exactly from the caveman days but I see actually that uh, how powerful it is you just have to be a woman smart to, enough to uh, use it right you know I have a friend very wealthy friend and he had a huge yacht one of the biggest yachts in the world Yeah. and the girls would just line up and, mm-hmm. and just throw themselves at him and have sex to, get, to be part of that scene Yeah. and so um, it was weird because if they played hard to get it's like go away next so a girl had to really be strategic to be able to um, get the guy. And this one girl finally ended up marrying him. But So she didn't put out too quick, and she didn't put out not enough. So You know what I'm saying? So it was amazing how she was able to get him to marry her. Um, because, you know, women want these... I don't know, it's very hard to explain, I guess. But it was amazing that they got laid quite a bit because, you know, women... You know, or groupies at times. Women it could be a yacht groupie. It could be a rock star groupie. You know, they, and they'll they'll use their bodies to get what they want. Yeah. Right. You use your body to get what you want. I can make some money like that, but not in the using a money like in the way of like thinking about it, but just using my um, how to say in English charm. Mm-hmm. And like I'm a natural salesperson which I never thought because I have a medical doctor uh, education because my parents are doctors and they wanted me to be so I didn't Uh, I'm a model and dancer so they I use my beauty and my charm and my uh, very very um, special talents to see people I don't know how I do that but sell anything everywhere Whatever it is. I didn't never even knew about it before uh-huh. I started selling. Right. And then I started waitressing, right, on, like, some illegal places. And also... Some illegal places? Yeah, like poker games and oh, stuff. Oh, okay. And, like, all I have to do is to be pretty and charming right. and nice. Right. And men ready to eat earth from the floor just to get you. <laughs> of course, I'm smart enough, and I'm not from that part of society where I'm coming from. Right. That's why it's so hard for me here, because it's an odd life lifestyle that I get used to at home. Right. I've been given everything I want in Ukraine, of course. Yeah. My parents. But, um, 
here my parents think I'm crazy and they think that I'm gonna get home soon and ask for money because they don't support me here financially right. and they have to do some very bullshit hustle um, which doesn't make sense for me at this point anymore so that's why I look so sarcastic and uh, upset well you were I think you're better off before getting in the car to be honest with you I mean I'm hoping you are because you were really in a bad mood when we got when you got no, in the no, car no no I'm fine I um you know, I agree with everything you said, absolutely. And I trust me every day. I'm starting a new day. It's hard when you're an addict, you every day is a new day. Right. And you don't fucking know when is it actually exactly going to be a fucking a real new day. Because <laughs> in the morning, you like, ready. Right. And in nighttime, you're like, oh my God, fuck it. I just cannot do this anymore. And right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, like, it's almost like, you know, like one minute at a time. That's why I say every scene in your movie, the movie called Anna, is up to you. Yeah. And so you have to take it as an addict, even minute by minute. Because one minute you're going to say, well, fuck it, let's just get high, you know. Right, that's exactly what it is. But um, what I'm saying is that uh, to be pretty and charming and all of that, it's great. But it's also a uh, very uh, short uh, time because everybody gets older. and Very quickly, too. And new girls coming. Very quickly. It's hard to compete when you are almost 30 and compete with... Uh, 18 years old hookers around you you're not even a hooker but you have to act like you are so it's hard yeah because you have to pretend like play it cool in order to make money but in the same time i stay in my moral base which is so uh, i'm very blessed with that by god well that's cool very strong base well you're smart enough to know you can get out of you the problems that you think you have mm-hmm. right now and you, it's all in your head you know? Have you ever come here to do the stairs? Probably no. you're not with enjoy this anymore. Well, no, I just not I think for your joints. You, what you have to do is um, exercise. If you're not used to it, it can be very dangerous. I exercise every day at least for three hours. Three hours I of have your so life much every energy, day. Man. Yeah. Wow. That's why I used to be a professional dancer and choreographer before my parents so put you, me you, in a so prison. So you're getting your dopamine from your exercise then. Yeah. Yeah. Most of it. But I hate this job and mall. You gotta get out of I have of the, to talk to people that I don't know. And I'm acting. You get it, right? Like, yeah, yeah. hi, guys. How are you doing? <laughs> right, right. Oh, my God. I love your beard. You literally look like a Santa Claus. Seriously? Right, right. <laughs> oh, my God. How your day going so far? And this is like this shit all day long. I don't even care what you guys... I don't mind. I'm Well, you're an kind. actress. It sounds like you're a good actress. Though. I am. I'm kind. I like people. I just don't like to talk to them all day long for a bullshit purses that a real price of them is not three hundred dollars it's twenty bucks for a purse. Twenty bucks. I'm just being honest to you to produce a freaking purse. Don't oh, tell I know them. I know about all that. Yeah, but nobody that. realized and they spend three hundred dollars for the piece of thing that I can buy for twenty bucks as yeah. a person who work for them. Yeah even the big brands uh, Louis, the, Louis Vuitton Louis five Vuitton. thousand exactly you know exactly. how much it really you don't want to know no I do know I do know people got insane like well, it's what? plastic it's fucking plastic see it's the same material that they use it oh, for the three thousand exactly. dollar model, and they make it to a twenty dollar model. The yes. same exact people making it. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I got this job because I was um, very in a bad depression and I needed some structure in my life. Right. So I had to socialize no matter what. Yeah. And uh, well, I, you got to try to use uh, the, the the context you're making. I'm thinking of medical sales because it's well, kind sales. Of, remember, in sales, you're never selling a product or a service. You're selling a relationship. You're selling that they get I to know. be with Anna. Most of the time, they just want to buy because they like me. Exactly. And that's good. That means you're going to be a good salesperson because you're pretty. You're, you're smart. Right? But know that it's... But as you said, I like the idea of having my own something. Like my own... Create your own product. But everyone right now is trying to do all of this apps. Don't worry about everybody. And I feel just, no, like... No, no, Anna, it doesn't matter everybody. Especially when you There's immigrate. 10 million people here. You can't reinvent the wheel. Just do what Anna wants to do. Find your path. <laughs> it's the North Pole. It's the North Pole calling. Is he your friend? No, I don't know. But I wish it would stop ringing, you know? Let me ignore it for now. How do you like... Love it. When did you got it? I got it uh, about four months ago, maybe? Something like really? that. Really? I'm about... To, my car is broken, so I need to lease a new car. I used to drive Honda Accord 2004. Well, I have the best mechanic in the city, uh-huh. and he says buy a Honda. 
and he does Lamborghinis, he does the Bentleys, he does everything. Tell me about and it. And he says, buy a Honda. So, do you think that he will buy my Honda? Oh, oh no, no, he won't touch it. Um, I mean, he, uh, no, oh. he, he won't buy it. No, but you, it's for sale, you're saying? Yeah, but I already found the person to sell. I want to lease a new one, either this one exactly that you drive. Right, this one's great. But I like the Accord better because I like uh, a new crane. I, used I think to drive the Civic looks better, too. It's not about looks. I used to drive such as Mercedes and BMW in Ukraine, so for me, the feeling of the car is more important. Yeah, no, this feels great. Uh, I drove this one a week ago. I went to Honda dealership, and I drove Accord in the mm -hmm. same time. Of right. course, it's a, Accord is heavier, smoother, and I like to drive fast. Well, you shouldn't drive fast. I, li I, I know. <laughs> I drive like a guy. I, I'm very good at driving, not going to wood. Never, like, very, some reason, blessed. Well, I drive yachts, and the number one rule when you drive yachts or pick captain yachts what? is slow is pro. Yeah, you get of less, course. Less trouble when you're going slow. You will not believe what happened to me a week ago. I kept, keep, keep thinking about it, and I can't believe God, literally, like, I tell you the truth. At 4 a.m., driving from Calabasas to Santa Monica, I've been caught off on police. 4 a.m. on a highway. Oh, no. I was a drugged. Drunk? Drugged. Drunk, drugged, and stoned. <laughs> Three of this. Okay. With a lot of cash and drugs in my car. Okay. And this is, was ridiculous. Guess what? You got your way out of it without a ticket. Exactly. Because you're pretty. I acted okay. like a, I don't speak English almost, oh, a good. Russian princess. So you very, hardly spoke English. Very don't understand My husband waiting, короче, it was ridiculous. I don't know how. They look at my eyes. They they did me a test. Oh, they did the spray test? You passed it? Everything. I passed it. They didn't do me a drunk testing God or drug test. They would be do your wife forever. Exactly. God, thank you so much. Hey, my house is right there, but it's okay. Oh, oh, oh. Just leave me out. It's turn left. I don't know why. No, thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. You're great. You are fantastic. You're fantastic. Thank and you. And you're um, you're part of the group you're now. Really Santa Claus. I really am Santa Claus. No, seriously.